Greetings! Welcome to Factorio. I'm Catherine Sky, and we are starting a brand new series. Now, this series is going to be mostly vanilla. Um, I do have Robot Quick Start um, because I have played this game before. I know the joy of chopping trees, and I will not experience that joy. <laughs> I've I have over two thousand hours in Factorio. I'm allowed to choose how much time I want to waste on chopping trees. Anyway, everything that I do. Um, it can be done by hand. Just know that you can also get a mod called Nanobots. That's another all option for early game robots. Um, but I feel like this game is meant to be played. Um, and I have I have paid my dues with, you know, for like over a thousand hours of chopping trees by hand and doing stuff like this. So anyway, um, yeah, we're starting a brand new series. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who make this possible, uh, who make my job possible, who make it possible for me to play games for you guys. So I'm um, really excited about that. If you want to support me financially, do please check out the Patreon link below or become a member of the channel, that kind of thing. Um, there are many ways if you want to show your support and I am very, very grateful to you. So what are we going to do? I have an idea, right? So I, I've, I've played this game before few times a couple of times you might say and um i tend to start in the in in the same way we, we build a main bus and then we move to outposts and stuff like this my idea for this series and i'm gonna do it like a tutorial series like i usually do entry level to mega base so that you know new players can get into this and you know learn the shortcuts and all that stuff um but i'm gonna try a new concept called an injection bus i just made the name of this thing up i've never heard of this before but the idea is that we should be able to build a main bus that is supplied from the side, but materials just keep flowing down and down and down the bus, hopefully without the need for outposts. Well, outposts making intermediate materials. So we're gonna try out this concept. I don't think it's gonna survive into like, you know, massive amounts of material, but I'm pretty sure we can get a thousand science uh, per minute, which is usually, the very beginning goal of a mega base project. So um, yeah, let's try it out. Let's see. Um, so what I've done is I have uh, come up with a map already. All right, so here we go. Here we have the settings. Uh, I started with a railroad, a real railroad, a <laughs> real world. If only we could start with like, I don't know, a previous society's railroads plastered across the landscape. Hey, mod and scenario makers. That's an idea. That's interesting. Hmm. Cool. Anyway, so um, anyway, we're going to preview this map. This is the map. I have had really good luck with map generation. This is perfect. This is literally the first map that came up for me, and it's great. Uh, we're going to start here in the center. Uh, we have some stone copper and coal are mixed, which is not a problem, which is actually great because I like to show people how to filter um, that, that kind of a situation out. Um, we also have more iron here. We've got uranium not too far away. Um, it is annoyingly far away from a coast, but that's okay. This area here is really nice. Potentially, I don't, these lakes might be in the way, but this kind of straight coastline is really good for nuclear, uh, power. We might even straighten it up just a little bit to get this little inlet out of here. Um, but overall, it's looking really good. Uh, there's oil down here, which is also close by. You'll notice there are no biter nests because I consider biters a waste of time. Um, some people are like, oh, yeah, it breaks up the game loop. And I'm like, oh, my God, it breaks up the game loop. It, I like the game loop. I like building. I don't need interruption. Thank you. So anyway, we're not playing with cliffs because I find them annoying. Um, enemy bases are just turned off. Actually, advanced, I should turn off the pollution as well. Let's do that. Uh, technology isn't normal. Recipes normal. I probably should bump that up because, yeah, we're, we're experienced. We've done this before, right? <laughs> but for YouTube, let's not make this grindy. Let's just go normal values for all that kind of stuff. Uh, the frequency on these is low as you would expect for a real world. And the size is big. And I put the richness up from real world as well. They're at 300. Size is at 300. If you want to just recreate this, get your own map. Otherwise, I do have the map exchange string. It is in the Google Drive. So just click to there, navigate to the folder and go and get the map. Uh, and you import it here. You do import map string and you paste it here. 
Now, um, there has been some confusion in the past where people try to import blue blueprint strings through here. This is only for maps. The other one is only for blueprint strings. So put it in the correct place um, and you won't have any problems. All right, we've arrived. We crashed again. <laughs> Can you believe we crashed again? I feel like they can't, they can't keep renewing our spaceship driver's license. Like this is just ridiculous. Who, who is giving us this license, man? Ah, uh, all right, so let's see what we get. So this is the robot fast start. Um, I'm pretty much in favor. I could do with less lasers, less night vision, more batteries, but overall it's a pretty good loadout, not too bad. There's way too many robots. I might get rid of them or just put them in a chest. Actually, we could just put them in a chest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is press Alt to begin. Uh, press alt to begin. That should be the first instruction on this screen because then you can see that these are chests and they have iron plates in them. There's not many, uh, but it's something. Uh, this big ship has ammo, which we will not need. We're going to put all of this stuff in the ship, in fact, because we don't need it. Um, I'll also put a couple of those stacks of robots in here. Did this not used to be bigger? I swear that this used to be bigger. This like held, have more uh, uh, sockets, whatever called, storage spaces. Now the first thing I wanna do is find big rocks. Well, technically this is a big rock, but this is a huge rock. This one has coal in it. So if you're playing standard vanilla, just right click to mine it, and then you will get the items from it, which is gonna be stone and coal. I'm gonna put coal on my hotbar very important to do that. Now this is a hot bar. This is not inventory space. So these are linked. So this is 39, 39. These are the same thing, but it makes it easier just to grab it from here to fuel stuff. Anyway, do we have any more? I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and use our robots to deconstruct again. Like I just showed, you can use um, your, um, you can use your pickaxe to delete these items, but I don't have time for that or patience for it. So we're just gonna delete them with robots. It's so much easier. You see? See how easy that is? So nice. Anyway, put the um, put uh, wood there as well. First thing we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and put in a mining drill. I probably shouldn't do this. I probably should be should be like progressive and say, press Q on the mining floor here, and you will get a miner. It's nice. That was a that was a change they made. It didn't always used to be like that. It's nice. Okay, so what this is going to do, this is going to mine uh, iron for us. Uh, and what we're going to do also is we want to make more stone furnaces. So let's just build all the stone furnaces we can. We can actually mine some iron to put in another furnace and uh, make sure that we can... Actually, I didn't check. We might be able to build another miner. Let's see. Oh, we can. Good. Good. All right. So you can press Q on the ground or just click it from your inventory just like I did. Now what I just did there is I pressed Q on top of the building and you get a copy of it. It's like an eyedropper tool. Um, the other thing that I wanna do is let's take this out. So this is gonna run out of fuel in just about a few seconds. And I wanna show you how I did the fueling because that's kind of important. Now this map doesn't seem to have a lot of um, rocks. Let's see, well, no, there are some down here. Actually, let's go and get some, some more coal because coal is a superior fuel to uh, wood in general. And we're also, we are getting some stone as well, but mostly we're looking for coal because you get stone from whichever rocks you pick up but uh, the coal is a little bit rarer. Uh, all right, so we're getting achievements. That's bizarre. Okay, so what's happened is this has run out of fuel and this one can't operate unless it has input. So what you can do with coal, we have 194, but it operates on a stack size of 50. You see on my pointer, it has 50. So if you press control and then right click, it puts a half a stack and it got another 50 because we have more than 50. So I'm gonna do another control right click. Now, if you press control click, 
it will fill it up or it will give it the whole stack. That time it only gave it 25 because we only had 25. Again, right clicking there. Whoopsies, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, right clicking on this halved the stack for us as well. We're gonna go ahead and do this. You can also just control, right click, drag. And there it goes, put stuff in there. So we have night vision goggles on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off because I don't like night vision. Um, it's better than it used to be. It used to be horribly green. Oh my God. But I kind of want you to just see the lighting effects of the game here. Now we're also gonna take the plates from the, um, the furnaces here. So control left click and drag. And that takes out all of the iron plates from the machines. So we're gonna make all of the burner miners we can. And we're gonna put one on copper for now. These look so cool, these tree trunks. I have never noticed how like detailed they are. They look great. They're pretty awesome. Now, copper, you don't really need many. You probably only need two for early game like this. So we're gonna take our coal, we're going to control right click and just move in a C pattern and those are ready. They're done. But we do need more coal. <laughs> we do need more coal. So let's grab the, the iron there. We're gonna make two more things, but we actually don't need that many right now. For So what we're gonna do for coal is a little bit different. You can probably see that they're pointing toward each other. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one piece of coal and press Z, Z or C, depending on your nationality and your use of language. So what's happening here is they're feeding into each other. So this one dropped coal into this one. This one is gonna drop coal into this one. So now they're all running and they're all feeding each other coal. Now what we can do is with the excess coal, cause they're gonna generate more than they burn. So we press control and again, go in that C, C motion, you know, C or U shape. And that will give us coal. And over time we can add more here. In fact, we can do that right now. If we do this, this, and that. And soon these will fill up with coal and they will start running. Yep, there we go, nice. Uh, and now uh, we probably wanna just spend the rest of the miners on iron because iron is a an object or a thing that is needed the most in this game. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just remove these and do this because it's lower on uh, in the patch and not gonna have this empty spot. Okay, so we're gonna do control right click and we don't have enough. So we're just gonna just put in what we can here. There we go, getting iron plates. And then here we go with the coal. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put iron plates on here as well. So you can just see how many we're getting every time that I click on the thing. Copper as well. We don't actually have any copper. So we got 58 there. Nice. Now we're not gonna use these as in use them as items. Um, so this is just for you to monitor how much we're getting from this. So we had 11, we have now 41 iron plates. It really matters to get these uh, things up and running quickly. Now, some people will be, oh, it's a waste of iron. No, it's not a waste of iron. It's not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make all of these things. It's not a waste of iron because these things cost so little. Like these things cost three iron, three, nine iron plates, nine iron plates and five stone. Now in a minute, not, not in a minute, but like at some point in the factory, in early game, we'll be making about a thousand plates a minute or 4,000 plates a minute a little bit later in the game. So yeah not really worried about that too much. Now we have the wood, but I feel like that's for later land. Let's see if we can make a couple more of these for more coal. Coal is pretty useful. Oops, it's still got mist. So I'm gonna just give it half a stack of wood right now. Now the issue is if you give this thing wood and then you try to wave your magic wand of coal over it, it won't take it because it's already like, yo, Dude, I can only hand one one product at a time. I got the wood. I ain't take no coal. Mm -mm. So there we go. So we got more iron plates. So now uh, we have a huge production going on, which is great. There we go. Okay, so those are gonna get going soon as well. 
So now we look uh, and figure out what we, oh, I'm used to pressing tab to open them. Can I change that? Settings, interface, no. Uh, controls, yeah, that would be it. Okay, let's see, can we find map? Uh, open, map, tab, perfect. I've been playing Diablo. <laughs> so like tab to open the map. That's the way it goes for God's sake. Help. All right. So now we need to plan out what we want to do with our electricity. Now the coal is inconveniently far away from this big lake where I'd rather put it. However, we could put it going vertically here. That seems to be good. And we could run a line like this. That might be okay. Now I, I think I've completely forgotten, but I think we wanted to run our bus Oh, that's not a lake. That is the shuttle. Okay, never mind. We'll put it over here then instead. Um, all right, so what we want to start off with is probably two steam engines. Now, this thing, um, we need to have two steam engines per boiler. So we make two of those, one of those. We need an offshore pump. And then we're going to need a mountain of power poles. So that's another use for wood that we need to, to deal with. So let's see what we can do now. Do we have, there's the pump. So we're gonna have a line of these going vertically, I think. We also need some pipes. We need some of these, and then we're gonna need a bunch of those after. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get more of these stuff. There we go. Okay, that's 166 iron, excellent. Uh, and we can actually start putting these pipes on our thing. Usually I just click and drag it, but I'm not that patient right now. Uh, all right, so let's just do this. And you can print in blueprints. You know, you don't have to have them there initially. Just for planning, you can have them out going there. So let's just put in, let's put it in this way. I have a particular reason for doing that, which is we'll run the belt which we also don't have. Let's make some belts. We'll put belts here. I usually do belts, undergroundies, then splitters, because those are the order in which they are used most frequently. So we'll have a splitter coming in here, but we don't need it yet. And we'll have the, the belts going this way. Okay, that's fine. And then we need a burner inserter, which we definitely need some, some more iron for. Gosh, oh, it's the poles. The power poles do take a while, don't they? Let's go get some more coal. We're going to need a little bit of copper for the green circuits to make those inserters. All right, let's see if we can get some of this done. There we go. Nice. Lots and lots of iron needed for this. See, aren't you glad we made like a half a billion... Uh, of those thingies. Yeah, it's good stuff. Half a billion is exactly the right amount, I feel. All right, so the, for the very first one, let's put a burner inserter. For the others, I would like to make regular inserters, actually. So here, we want to get the steam engines. And I'm going to explain what's going on here once we can get this going. Uh, we need coal. We don't have the connection yet, and that's going to take a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. We probably want to just go do this sort of thing here. Take a belt. Let's have a belt going like this. Okay. I'm going to have this come in like here. Now you can do this from map mode. Wow. I thought I was way off. I thought I was too high. Ha <laughs> ha. I was not. Holy crap, that's the longest I've ever estimated that correctly. That's amazing. Holy crap. Okay, woo, that was exciting. All right, so we're waiting. No, we're not waiting. We are. We should have our, our inserter. There we go. And uh, But for now, we're just going to fill this with coal. So it's now okay. Um, the other thing we need is power poles on our interface. And then the last uh, thing is going to be for inserters. Now, in, in general, I prefer, I very much prefer to have 
uh, electric inserters. But having the first one or maybe even the first row on burner inserters is actually okay because if you're a new player, you may have brownouts frequently. And, you know, if you're not sure what a brownout is, it's where you run out of electricity. Um, and those can lead to very interesting death spirals. But we're not we're going to try to avoid those. OK, try to avoid them. But we're going to also try not to overbuild. So what happens is we have water being pumped from the lake. Now, this does not require electricity. This water is going in this underground pipe. These little thingies make it go underground where you can't see it. But you can see the connection with the yellow thingy there. And they go into this thing called a boiler. Now, the boiler transforms the water, which is the droplet, into steam. And it has a rate of doing so. Um, yeah, I think that's, is it in the tooltip? Probably. Let's see. Burns fuel to turn water into steam. That's a very accurate description. So it consumes 60 per second. Okay. Um, and then these guys consume 30 per second. I think it's 30. I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio on those things. Let me see. Is it there? Yeah, 30 per second. So this one consumes 30, 60 water and puts out 60 steam. These each consume 30 steam. So two-to-one ratio. Now, why are they blinking? They're blinking because they want to serve power to the world. They're like, plug us into the world. That's why they're yelling. I wish they had a different symbol, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. We've been used to this for a while. So this power pole has an area of effect uh, or catchment area, you might call it, um, of this blue square around it. So when you put a power pole near enough to these guys, you can see that the um, they are selected. They're both in blue. So one power pole can cover both of them. And now they're like, yo, we're happy. We got a power pole. Oh my God. They're like, they have social media now. They have TikTok and they have like Snapchat, whatever. Um, they can communicate with the world. They don't know they're not like total. They're like internet is off, but they have their account, you know? So they're like, they're okay. They're pacified for now. But uh, the way to connect them, of course, is with more power poles. And we don't actually have anything that we're going to connect right yet or are we i think we are i think if you if you click left click and then drag you will be able to make a line where they are max distance apart one two three okay so then we're going to put this power line here and the reason i counted is because it does align with um the electric miners that we're going to do shortly hello there we go Get these these have stopped working because they're completely full these have not stopped working because they're fabulous wait why is this not working that's what was weird okay not sure what happened there uh we are sure what happened there that one ran out all right we got a ton more iron 620 iron that's amazing pretty great so let's just do many of these guys i just so when i just do the whole stack it would be like shift clicking this i shift clicked the electric miners in general, electric are easier to maintain because they don't require you to uh, continually feed them with coal. Otherwise, with these, you can make a burner miner uh, belted thing, but it's not great. It's, it's really not great. So, yeah, don't want to do that. Instead, let's make some... We need to make some technology. Let's do that first. Uh, we're going to make a little bit of uh, red science uh, bottles. They're called automation science packs. So let's make, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. I think we need 20 for the first technology, which is automation. Yay. Let's start the research. We don't have anything to do the research yet, but we can start it. Um, I didn't enable the research queue. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, I probably will enable it with the console. I forgot to do that. I'm so sorry about that. So if you're using this map seed, you really should enable it. Otherwise, you won't get achievements. And I don't know why they do that. I, I don't like that. I think it, it disables achievements if you if you enable. I, I don't I'll check it. I'll check up on it. Anyway, so now we're going to take these off of our hop bar and replace them permanently with 
electric mining drills. All right, so we need to later a lot of this hand crafting because that's what this is called hand crafting. It takes forever and it's annoying and we hate it, but um, it's good to, uh, you know what? Let's do these later. Let's do these after. Let's just do them here, shall we? And get, uh, oh, not there, not there at all because we need to get one, two, three, four of those going. And then we'll get a couple of these going. I think that's good, yeah. So we're crafting the science packs right now. These, we just generally call them science packs. Um, and then we'll be able to put them into our labs. Now at the moment, there's not a whole heck of a lot we could do. Um, if you are, wait, why is this not working? I'm pressing control and it's just not collecting. That is really odd. Maybe I'm not close enough or something. That could be a thing, I don't know. Anyway, if you are playing with um, without help, I suggest you you mine the trees in these areas, uh, that kind of thing. You can also explore. Now that's a thing that we would like to do. Uh, we have a lot of crafting, so exploring is good. Let's see, here's the stone. I wanna go and find either the uranium patch or the the next uh, iron patch. Oh, there's the uranium right down here. Uranium looks amazing at night. Oh, God, that's cool, huh? It's great. It is great. Actually, I should probably take a thumbnail screenshot. Yeah, I'm thinking about hiring somebody to do my thumbnails for this series, or at least some of them, um, because I don't know, it might help. But, uh, yeah, he needs a picture. So <laughs> I think, actually, I think it's a he. I don't know if it's a he or not a he. Because, like, you know, when you talk to somebody on Discord, like, you don't know if they're, you know, male or female. And it doesn't matter. I'm just wanting to be correct, you know. Anyway, here we go. We have our oil right down here. I'm going to decimate this area of trees more than decimate. Obliterate is the correct word, technically. Though decimate is used to indicate mass destruction. Uh, especially unfair mass destruction. Okay, come on, bots. There we go. All right, and then we can explore a little bit of this coastline as well. We are still crafting, can you imagine? All right, but we do have our science stuff. So I'm going to go back up to our space shuttle lake <laughs> in the real lakes. <laughs> I don't know why that's that way. It's so odd. But I do want to work on plenty of these as well. Okay, control and press A, there we go, and we move. All right, fantastic. So now, um, because labs need power, I'm gonna put them near the power, and we need one do, 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 there and there. Yeah, forgive my weird sounding things, okay. And we're going to, f actually, these may be in the wrong spots. Uh, let's take these and then going to add those. I think, yeah, we definitely need those to be moved to be there and there, I think. Okay, so now we're getting automation happening. I think I'm gonna go and make a few more to get the next technology. Yep, there we go. Okay, automation is ours, awesome. So now we can make assemblers, hooray! Let's see what else we wanna do here. I think logistics is always my second choice. Yeah, let's do logistics. Okay, so now we can make things called assemblers or assembling machines. Technically, they're called assembling machines. All right, I don't want to wait for all these because we can actually put those into an assembling machine and it will make it for us. So now we have assembling machines that have been assembled. Where? Where are they? Or did we get them yet? I don't think we got them. I don't think we actually got them. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. 
one. Did we get any? Yes. See, that's a reason to have them on your hotbar, even if you don't, um, if you, if you haven't gotten them sorted yet. Okay, so go there, there, here, here. Now these are going to be, we're, we're teaching the machine what to make. So we want automation science pack. Shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. All right, so these, let's just give it what we have basically. Click. And we're taking half the gears and click, go for it. So those are gonna make science packs on their own right now. Now what we do need is we need to make another assembler here. Now this one's going to make gears. And I have messed this up a tiny bit, not, not horribly, but just a tiny bit. Let's make these. I also need to get a couple of assemblers that will make me other things as well, like gears and belts. All right. I need boxes. I need more of these. Maybe one of those too. Okay, so let's see. Boxes are needed as well. And this is gonna take iron. So we're gonna put in a hundred stacks of each in here. Okay, so that's gonna make us belts, which is great because we seriously can't keep handcrafting everything. It's kind of boring. I think some people like handcrafting a lot and that's okay. Um, but I feel like it's a waste of time to do it with everything. Um, I think it's much more efficient to handcraft things if you absolutely need them, but then also keep your options open for um, other stuff. Oh God. Eh. Keep your options open for the machines, mostly crafting what you need. Okay, so this, this, that, that, and you can leave, go, go, okay. Good, now this needs more copper. Wow, okay. I forgot we needed so much copper. All right, electronics is almost done. This is great. We are really doing well. Now this thing, we need a stack of copper and a stack of iron in each. Let's just do that. Okay, and so that science is somewhat automated. We also have belts, which is also great. Do we have, we don't have the, wait, did I click the wrong thing? I did. Oh, I meant to get logistics and I got electronics. Whoops. Okay. Well, we're going to need both of them anyways. There's no big deal about this. Um, how are you doing? Let's give you more coal. And also I want to set up a, an electric miner on the belt for coal because we made them and then we never used them. So we're going to do this right now. Uh, oops, no, I don't want to do that yet. Let's get only coal here. Because we'll do the sorting in a bit. We don't need to do it right now. All right, so this is going to transport that coal along the entire belt until it gets picked up by those steam engines. And you can see it coming along here. Yay. So let's see. Alrighty, yo. Grabbing all the stuff and all the things. Because we need iron for our iron hungry base. It is very hungry, trust me. Here, you take that as well. Okay, and this can go into here as well. And we get more belts. Now, the other thing I like to make is green circuits. That's another great item to to have the machines crafting while you're off doing other things. So we're going to make these. Oh, we're needing... We need more iron. What a surprise. What a surprise. Okay. All right. I think this is the quickest start I've ever had. This is fantastic. Um, let's see. 
Do we have, we have a lot of stone furnaces. That's great. We need these to be made though. Now I am going to put down the machines for, ooh, what if I did this? So if I have a, this thing makes copper wire. This thing makes green circuits. Okay. And then this can come from here and just put that. Actually, what we can do is this and save on a chest here and just put some uh, circuit material or copper in there. And this can be green circuits. Nice. Okay, that's pretty fabulous. So now we need to adjust our research to do something new. Let's make fast inserters. I love fast inserters. They are very efficient and fun to make. We can now also make splitters and undergroundies. Oh, I don't remember if I enabled the KOS technical terms to have undergroundies. Yes, we do actually have a mod for the way that I speak. <laughs> it's a bit hilarious. It's just a tiny bit hilarious. Just a bit. Okay, so we have green circuits. Nice. So we can feed these a little bit more. I'm starting to be like, well, wait a second. We need more iron. What is this? So now is the point where we start to say, okay, we need to automate iron because it's just not enough. Um, I think we can do, where do we want to put stuff? I feel like the bus should go to the left. And I was thinking of, instead of having like four belts of each uh, thing, we do the injection bus, which is to have a uh, top up point. And I feel like maybe two belts is enough. Um, one belt feels like, oh my God, you know, what if there's like no buffer to it at all? So I think four or two belts would be a good thing, a good compromise. So if we have the furnaces here, we don't actually need that many of them because it is an injection bus. So we can probably just start a couple out here and that would be fine. Okay. So let's just start with that. We'll do one, two, three. Oh, well, that's not three. That's more than three. Okay. It doesn't matter that we can just always uh, get it going here. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. We got those. Getting those. Um, because those are great for making more miners. Mining drills. Okay. This is good. Let's get green science going. And I am going to set up my blueprints. Um... I don't remember if I imported my blueprint book here. <laughs> I had to go to like last year's blueprints and I'm not sure if I actually have the, um, the blueprint thing, but I'm pretty sure that I do have a smelting setup. That's what we need really. Smelting with stone. Uh, we need smelting with stone this one, I think. Yep, that's the right one. Okay, so we'll just put two down. Here, one and two. Very, very good. This is why I like robots. I know that some people are conflicted about robots. They like to, I mean, some people just like to build stuff themselves and that's okay. Um, some people feel like they have to earn the robots and believe me, I have done that literally a hundred times, if not more than a hundred times. Uh, I'm a very experienced Factorio player. I've been playing this game more or less continuously for seven years. So I have done it and you're not going to convince me those purists out there. You're not going to convince me that it's more worth earning. And I'm like, I've earned it so many times already. I don't need it. that experience. I'm good. Thanks. It's just funny how uh, some people are quite, I don't know, very specific about stuff. They have to have things in a very particular way and that's fine, but I'm not you, you know, I have my own opinions and I like to do things in my way. So 
I just find it funny that some people like to try to control others in, in that way. And I, and I mention this only because I get so many comments whenever I do a new series of entry level to mega base. It's a bit crazy how that is, how it works. It's very odd. Okay, let's go back up here. Also, I'm really loving this walk speed. This is pretty fantastic. Okay, you take these and this needs more iron. Okay. I'll take the belts off yes. Oh no, we're really out of stuff. Okay, can I make no, I can't. Uh, I need I need more copper, more iron, more everything. These are going as fast as they can, right? <laughs> it's like they're so slow, help. Oh no, oh no. Let's see, we can get some of these in here. Okay, that's good. That'll be fine. Just make a couple more of those, and then we can probably fill out some of this stuff. We definitely need more inserters. And then, ah, we also need belts. Yeah, that's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Okay, we are getting a few electronic circuits, green circuits, and a few belts here and there. Now I put two of these on the output because it is actually too slow just to have one. Uh, it will work if you have one fast inserter, but yeah. Let's see, we can actually, let's just build one fast inserter and then take those off so it's easier to collect stuff. I usually like to do that. There we go. Grab these and we're going to need inserters and inserters rely on green circuits. So that's why I'm keen to keep those green circuits crafting and running and all that kind of stuff. All right. It does look like we're out of furnaces as well. So I'm going to go ahead and craft some of those. We need to go more rock hunting, I think. Okay. There we go. Here we are. Now then, you'll notice, so these, these kind of work on an interesting principle here. Um, one of the things I want to do first, though, is I want to get this, the coal hooked up. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to make, we're going to cut like a little line through the trees here. We don't have any more belts. Oh no. Oh, we had plenty. Oh, that doesn't work well. Let's just make sure that we can get some belts in here. And we'll give you some iron. Oops. Wait, that didn't work well. Hold on. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay. So we're going to say this, then just drop that one in there. Okay. Better. It's only 15 belts. We need more than that, folks. Let's go. Let's find some more iron. The beginning of this game is really very much meant to be played very actively, as you see. I probably could have made some more iron uh, smelting over there as well. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. We have a hundred. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we can try. Let's see. Okay, so here. Oh yeah, that's going to work. That is going to work. Okay, so what we have here. Now you can do this layout a number of ways, but this is a, a way that JD Plays came up with, and I think it's brilliant. I love this setup. Uh, anyway, what we have here is we have two inputs. So we'll use this one just for example. The coal is coming on down here. So what we're doing is having these two splitters go into a belt. And as you can see here, each of these belts goes a separate way. So you're going to have half of them being the, um, the iron here that's coming from this belt from the mine. And then half of it is going to be coal. Uh, coal. As you see, this one's already splitting, but you can see it stays on its side of the belt. 
uh, in the way that it goes. And the uh, inserters are going to pick that up from here. Oh, we need more inserters. Many more inserters. So um, that is what's going to get us much more production here on these lines. So soon we're going to be able to remove all of these. We can reuse those furnaces as well and put all of this material on this belt instead. All right, and all of those lack of power things are going to disappear as soon as we get these inserters in here. In fact, let's go and see what we're lacking for these. We are lacking iron. Imagine that ironic. Okay, let's grab it from here. Make more. And grab iron from the end of the belt. All along the belt, you can press F to pick up stuff from the belt. Mm -hmm. And then you can make some more stuff. Let's see, we need more uh, of this copper. We're definitely going to feed these guys because we don't have, definitely don't have enough of that. Let's go up here and feed the copper here instead. Okay, we definitely need you to be there. And then we can get copper here. Yeah, I'll just put it all in there, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about the um, green science yet. That is definitely an end, end game kind of thing. But I'm much more keen on these electronic circuits and making them into these lovely uh, inserters. There's another three. How much do these need? They need one each. So I can now make 17, which is nice without having to craft a green circuit. Perfect. All right, let's go. Now, I didn't notice this, but this is the big light mod. I know there used to be another mod that did this. I got the big light mod for the train stops to see if they are active or not, because sometimes I close them. But it also looks at your mining drills uh, and sees if there is ore underneath them or not. So that's quite a nice feature. I don't know if vanilla has that or not. I, I don't remember. I think pro does it? I don't remember. Anyway, let's grab the iron from this belt. And it looks like we are off to a fabulous start. So um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, however, we're kind of at the end of our time. So again, if you would like to support my channel, I am so thankful for all of my supporters. Even if it's only like one or two dollars a month on Patreon, everything like adds up and it all counts. And I am so grateful that you allow me to do what I do best for a living. It's awesome uh, getting to create content for you and, and play games and have fun and all this kind of stuff and share my knowledge with you. Um, anyway, so thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.